Hey guys, welcome to Safi Mixed. In this video, I'm going to explain how to add references into a scientific document from a BibTeX file written in RevTeX 4 package. You see here, I'm using document class RevTeX 4 and I have added an optional argument in which I have written 11 point. 11 points to specify the size of the text and I will add other information during this video into this optional file. I have already developed the document in which I have added some arbitrary text as title, author, abstract and have also added some body text in the introduction section. And I want to add references to this file from a web text. So the first thing you need to do is to create a text file with extension bib in the same folder where the where your document is located. So I'm coming here to text document and click on it to create a text document and I want to give it name references and I change the extension of the file to bib. I click OK. This warning window opens and I click yes. To change the extension of the file. Then I come to the document back and at the end I add bibliography and add the name of the file. This name inside the argument of command bibliography must exactly match with the name of this file with extension bib. Now I open up this file and want to create list of references for example if i want to add a reference then i have to come to scholars open up scholars google and add the title of the reference you want to add to your document so if i want to add this reference into my document i have to come here on citation and click on it so there are different styles available for the citation mla apa chicago harvard etc I click on BibTeX and this copy this format of the citation by clicking by selecting the whole of it and then clicking Control C and coming back to the reference.bib file and I just paste this over here. If I enlarge the text, then this is the citation key of this references and I copy this reference to the file and I want to paste this somewhere over here inside the text by site and then copy this. If I build the document now, so you see the, the, the LaTeX hasn't read the reference from the file, there is a problem. This problem comes because I haven't saved the file. If I save the file and then come to and then come back to, to the original file and build the document. You see now it is cited at its own position. I can add a few more references in order to correctly understand here. I go back to this file and I pick another paper like this one and I click on the side command over here, then come to BibTeX and I select this whole document by pressing Ctrl A and then I copy by pressing Ctrl C and come back to this file and I paste this over here. I save the file and I copy the key of the article by pressing selecting and pressing Ctrl C and come over here and add the key at this position to the document and now I build the document again. Okay. You see now the second is stated over here now I want to add different styles uh, to the citation and that I can do by adding here additional information into the optional argument of document class and that I can let me add APS. If I add APS it would put the references in APS style and if I add instead of APS if I add AIP it will convert the citation style to AIP citation format. See here now it is 
the, the references are put in the superscript of the text like one in two and here again the style has been changed similarly i can change this by instead of aip i can add apa style and building the document will change again to apa style this is apa style i can further change by adding additional formation like other year and i get this into aip style and build the document now you see here instead of numerical citation now the name of the author and the year of the author is mentioned in the style and here the numerics numbers are removed only the name of the author goes on okay by changing the command site to site p if we build a document now the author name would be put inside the brackets you see similarly i can do with the second one if i convert this site to site p it will be converted into it will be enclosed inside the brackets so this is the this is what we call the other year style of references this way you can change the uh, style of the references so while using Rootis 4 we can change the style of the references by putting the name of that journal inside the optional argument of the document class and uh, i can even change this to other numeric which is the in fact the uh, default style of aps and aip if i put this it will convert back it to the default style of aip you see now it is again taken to the aip numeric style and here again the, num the, the, the references are numbered if you haven't yet subscribed to Safi Max, kindly support the channel by pressing the like button and the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.